part three of how to get open the blind pig. Hey Team Shots fans, Coach Tom here today and I'm going to show you another quick way to get yourself open and get the ball in your hands for a score. So in earlier videos we showed you the V cut and the L cut and by now your defender is probably catching on to what you're setting them up for and adjusting by denying your passing lane and overplaying your cut out to the perimeter. And that's great because now you're going to backdoor cut and they won't know what hit them. And that's why it's called the blind pig. They're the unfortunate pig that didn't see it coming. Now the first thing you want to do is establish your intent to go backdoor by making eye contact with your teammate. Don't use any other signaling because you want this to be a surprise that you spring on the defense. If they know what you're doing, it's not going to work. Next, you're going to bait the defender by breaking out toward the three-point line with your hand extended calling for the ball. For the extra sell, the passer should make a convincing pass fake toward your extended hand which should entice the defender to try to intercept the pass. As soon as the defender has done that, he's cooked because he just overextended himself and won't have time to recover when you plunge your outside foot and explode directly toward the bat. Basket. Don't wait around, just go. Then it's up to the passer to hit you with a lead pass out in front of the cut on your way to the hoop. All you have to do is make sure you sink the layup. It's as easy as that. Oh, and one more thing. Don't ever fake a backdoor cut. More often than not, the passer will make a bad pass looking for you to follow through on the back cut. If you make the move, follow through until the passer is sure of what you're doing. So that's the backdoor cut. I want to see you take it to the court and make a couple of blind pigs out of your defenders. Stick around for the comment question in just a second. But for more ways to play without the ball and get open scoring opportunities, you can click right up here on this playlist. It would also be awesome if you guys could take a second to like and favorite this video and share it with your friends. And while you're down there, answer today's question. Which NBA player have you seen use the backdoor cut for a monster throwdown? And a bonus question. Which NCAA team is known for their backdoor cutting offense? And let us know your answers down in the comments. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Okay team, you can click right here for our playlist on getting open and playing without the ball. The V-cut and the L-cut are must-know moves that create opportunities to score. Remember, never just stand there, make something happen. Our tips and tutorials are right up here in their own playlist and you can join us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus by clicking on the annotations. Come talk to us, ask us questions, whatever you want. Also, you can click right here for our blog on Google Plus for lots of extra tips and basketball knowledge. We've also put the links to all of this stuff down in the description for anyone that can't click on the annotations. Now get to work.